Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. We're going to show you something new we just got. Yeah. I sold my great big um, 15, kilowatt, 15 Honda. kilowatt Honda back from... Generator. Uh, generator, back from uh, 2000. Yeah. When the, the Y2K scare. I sold that. And uh, we uh, we just went and picked up because it was on sale right now a Predator 3500. Yes, we had we had had a Champion 2000, yes. which we sometimes use to top off our battery. Or if we had really cloudy day days mm -hmm. or something, we would we would use it, and it worked well. But we would we felt like we would like to have a little bit more power in case we needed to run the, air, the conditioner. air conditioner all night right or something well this would run the air conditioner so we had heard really good reviews about the predator mm -hmm. and saw one in action it's super quiet yeah so anyway we scraped together our money and we bought us a predator <laughs> we'll see yeah. how we'll see how that goes so <laughs> we're gonna do a, a box opening yeah and then we'll let you know how it goes yep so here's the box and it says <laughs> super, super quiet <laughs> and Light. lightweight that now, is relative that is absolutely <laughs> not true is what it is i just carried it in here and they say it weighs 100 pounds it weighs every bit of 100 pounds yeah. let me tell you <laughs> okay so anyway we're gonna do a box opening go for it baby <sighs> This is the most important part right here for, for me, always the manual, <laughs> because I always go through, in fact, you can see this manual's already been looked at, because when we picked it on up. the way home, I, <laughs> I told the man when he carried it out, the young man who was extremely helpful at Harbor Freight in Lake Havasu City, and he... Uh, he took it to the car for me, and he, I said, oh, I'll have to get out the manual. He said, you want it out now, because I'll just get it out for you. So he got it out for me. So I said, that's the only way you know about all the features and benefits. So. Okay, so you read it on the way home. Uh-huh, and 3,500 is the starting watts. That's always, I don't know why they it's do deceptive. this. It's deceptive. Yeah, it, because 3,000 is the running watts. So 3,000 is really what you would want what you would have available for your devices inside your home. Now, our our little air conditioner takes, it's very efficient, and very it takes efficient. maybe 800. Uh-huh, I don't or know. So, I'm not sure exactly how many, but this should be plenty to handle it, because it's a very and efficient. The, oh. the 2000, which again, it's a 2000 starting, so it probably runs at like 15. 18, I think is what it okay. said. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. His packing is nice. Yeah. Here. And the guy at Harbor Freight said, oh man, it's got great reviews. And he did give us a couple of tips about it too, yeah. didn't he? Uh-huh. Well, you go ahead and talk about it. There's well, it a, an this, adapter. It, it includes an RV adapter. Mm -hmm. So if you need an adapter for your RV, I think we have one, but not. It's a... Uh, what's in here it's a tool to take the spark plug some out. little tools it sounds like uh-huh uh, to take the spark plugs out right which you don't have to do for a long time I think it's now we read one review where the guy oh no that's for charging a battery we read a view and, and that's that is the spark plug tool special tools, tools in mm -hmm. there put them back in there yeah. for sure so we read a review of a guy that had been running it for how long? For 10 years he's been using it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. And he and he told all about it on the review and it sounded really great. And our friend Shirley has one and um, we heard it running and it's so super quiet. Very quiet. Yeah. This is for obviously a funnel for the... For the oil. urinal? No, not for oh. the urinal. For the oil. <laughs> oh my... Okay, and this tells how to start it. One of my favorite parts. It has an electric start. It sure does. It also has the rope back on there somewhere, I think. Okay, well, we're going to so, open it up now. Okay. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to take this door off. <laughs> Which yep. clearly he already he did. He already did. <laughs> and we're going to get this battery pulled out 
because we have to connect it. Because, of course, they wouldn't ship it connected. That would not be a, ba a good thing. And there's the little battery. So we're just going to connect that, put it right back in. Okay. I don't know how you do that. Well, you pull this out, and you pull the black one out. Oh, like that. Okay. yes, I know how to do that. And then these little nuts uh -huh. right here, attach it right to those. Okay, I'm going to watch you do that. Oh, well, you don't need to watch that. Okay. I'll hook it up, then you can show it. Okay. Oh. Okay, I got it. <laughs> It says, remove the battery access door. You already saw us do that. Uh -huh. And make sure the black strap stretched over the top. We did that. Remove the covers from the battery terminals. Ta-da! Those two little things One right there. Rubber. Ta-da! And then it there says, locate the black and red battery cables, which There's he did. There's the black. There's the red. And There's the, the black. There. There's the red. Mm -hmm. And then it says, then connect the black table cable to the negative Really? And the red. <laughs> to the red. The <laughs> yeah. black to the black and Imagine the red to the that. red. And that all it says is replace the battery access door. Okay. And we have these little things. Uh, we have to figure those out. To yep. do it with. So Jim has to figure Piece out. Piece of cake. Who go, what goes where. Right. Which I is easy for that. him. But Piece maybe not cake. so much for me. I know exactly. Oop. And there you go. I dropped another one. But Oop. luckily... Here's one really great thing about this. What? Is it has wheels on it. Well, later. Turn oh, it off. later. Okay. So here's the battery. I already have it hooked up. Have the covers back on. And uh, we're going to push that back in place. And then this little rubber strap, it goes down and hooks on into a little groove down here. And uh, that that will keep that battery from shaking around, moving that's nice for just like that this goes right little door goes right back on and uh, voila battery is done yay okay anything else about it you want to show before well it comes we... with no fuel in Wait, it hold on i'm gonna it seems like it's really close so i'm gonna back up a little bit because it was zoomed apparently mm -hmm. okay okay so it comes with no fuel so you're going to no put fuel, fuel and they were and very strong about the fact that if you bring it back and it has any fuel in it at all mm -hmm. they will just reject it like if right. you take it back to have it for, uh, for warranty. warranty yeah so they cannot take it back if it has any fuel so if you ever do take it back make sure you dump out everything um and oops there we go Okay, so we have to put fuel in it, and we have to put oil in it. We have to put oil in it. Which is uh, 10W30. We've read reviews. It has rollers on it, good wheels, and then it also has a little lock right here. You just release this lock, and now it's, uh, there you go, it's locked now. So it won't roll now. Okay. Yep. Okay, so now Jim's getting ready to add the oil. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, it, right here is the little door for that. Okay, Debbie just. Oh, you got a bald off. spot right there. Oh, don't show that. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I will have to. Uh, it's actually easy to access if you're if if my head wasn't quite so big. Well, he's right here up against the couch, so it makes Don't show my ball a spot. little bit. <laughs> you said I have a ball spot. Don't show that. It's kind of hard. Okay. So it has that's been the dipstick. Oil. It just doesn't have any oil in it, but it does right. have a tiny bit on the end of the dipstick. Okay. Which means they have had oil in it. They put oil in it at some so point. So it okay. says it takes 20 ounces. 20 ounces. So we're going to go ahead and put... Um, oh, this is so much easier than the 2000. Oh, is it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you said take that it down his, until yeah. 12, is that right? To about, yeah, to 12, because it has 32 ounces in a quart. Okay. And that's a 10W30. Uh-huh. That's what it calls for, is 10W30. We're okay. very technical, as you can see. Uh, we'll see here in a minute, won't we? Yeah, well, we hope it doesn't overflow all over the... 
No. Floor. Okay, we're going to take it down. Woo, we got a long way to go. Uh-huh. Takes a lot of oil, doesn't it? Surprisingly. Less than a quart. Mm-hmm. When you consider that my bus takes, what, five gallons? Uh, yeah, five gallons. Or, or more? Something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we're still going down to 12, which is right there. Uh-huh. So I'm going to go a little bit more, and then I'm going to check it. That showing? Ah, uh, 12, you figured. I figure you're right. Okay, we're going to see if that will, see how that works. Let me works. get your tissue. Hold on. You're going to... You're going to tiss me? Tiss you. I'm going to tiss you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So. I hold it. it or you plastic. can put it in the plastic, but don't get it on my blanket. No way, baby. Okay. Okay. Screw that in there and see how how it looks. Okay. I'm supposed to fill it all the way up. Well, that shows it all the way up to there. So you can see that there's oil all the way up. So I would say we're right on. Right on. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. So, I guess the only next thing to do is to take it outside, fuel. fill it up with fuel, and start it. By the way, you should never use a generator inside. Or any combustion engine. Right, because it, they're going to produce some carbon monoxide. It's and gonna, It could kill you. It could kill you. It could kill you. I kill you, yep. Think that screws in, is that right? Yeah, yeah. it does. Okay. Now we're going to tell the things that he told us too. Yeah. He said for preservation of life to make this thing, and it has great reviews by the way. But yes, it does. To make it last longer, uh, he suggested that we always leave, while we're running it, leave this door on this side. He said just, where's the door on this side? I don't oh, see it's a door the on this oil side. Door. It's the oil door. He mm -hmm. said to leave open. He said to leave it open. Or he said the other thing, and he said it won't. It won't hurt the uh, warranty. Warranty. He said you can drill holes in this side. Uh huh. And uh, that way it'll have more ventilation. More ventilation. He said it can get kind of hot, overheat the engine. What I don't want. And he said be sure and clean, and you access it from this door. To clean the air filter uh, often, he said. Yeah. And he said, if you do that, if you clean the air filter often, uh, then you it will last a long time. And we've read re reviews of people who are running them after 10 years, and uh, they're operating perfectly. Yeah, you got so. a lot of light behind you, so I'm going to focus Sorry. back down here. Yeah, he just said that um, you want to make sure you chain, you check that air filter and don't let it get, it get clogged up so it doesn't overheat. But, yeah. I think it's going to be a wonderful addition for us. I think so too. And if we didn't think so, we wouldn't have. Uh, it is way heavier. Have purchased it. Yes, it is way heavier. It's quite. It's it's quite a bit bigger, but um, does twice it's, the work almost. It's about a hundred pounds. So, yeah. Uh, the other one, I don't know what it was, but I would guess it's probably fifty or sixty. And it pounds. says on here it's fifty-seven decibels. I believe is how loud it is. And okay. that's not very loud for um, for a generator. Right. It's an inverter type, so they're typically quieter. So. Okay. okay. I'm gonna take it outside. Okay. Hey, we're taking a short break for a birthday party. We'll be right back. Okay, this is a pink birthday party. 
turn it a little bit. So the, oh, that's great. So this down here on the end is how you, it's the starter, it's the place that you plug everything in and all that kind of stuff. One thing that Jim really liked was that it has a little digital screen um, right here and you can cycle through some different things about it. One thing is how many hours it's been used and he felt that would be really helpful to know. Okay, so here are the two, the Predator 3500 and the Champion 2000. And you can see there's a huge difference in their size and in their weight. So it says lightweight on the box, but it weighs about 100 pounds, and I would guess that the Champion weighs about 40, 45 I think maybe. Said around 50. Around 50 pounds? Yeah. Okay. But they both run great. They do. It's just we wanted to get the little bit bigger one. Yeah, so we could run our air conditioner when we're in muggy areas at night. At night, yeah. Well, this morning we're going to start this up so you can see how it works. It's very easy. If it's cold, you put it to start all the way. I don't think it's cold because we ran it about two hours ago. So um, I'm going to put it on just run and we'll start it up. Yeah. There you go. You let it run for a little bit before you plug the load in. Supposed to let it run for just a it says five minutes, but that's never going to happen. So we just let it run for a second, make sure it's warmed up, and then, then we're going to plug it in. Yep. How's that? That's great. I'm going to make sure it's on. It should be run. I'm going to put it on the eco mode. Yep. Because we're not using a lot of power right now. No, we got plenty of sun coming in right now. There you go. It's very quiet. <laughs> 